The sign making techniques in this video were all demonstrated by Michael Bloomquist, master sign maker and owner of the Hayward School of Dimensional Sign Making. Gluing Seams There will be times when the design or dimensions of your sign will require you to use glue. Fortunately, sign foam's composition works very well with glue if you follow these steps. Your choice of glue is a critical factor. Always use a catalyzed polyurethane glue. Even though there is a gap between these two pieces, this choice of glue will expand as it drives to fill all the gaps. First, set registration marks at several places along the areas to be joined, generally about 18 inches apart. A wood biscuit helps to keep the seams even all the way across, especially in distances of more than three feet. Use a biscuit joiner, which is a spring-loaded circular saw, to create a semicircular hole in the edge of the sign foam for the biscuit. Using your registration marks as a guide, make holes for the biscuits on both sides of the material you are joining, matching the registration mark with the centerline mark of the joiner. Once complete, as you can see, you've ensured your two pieces will join precisely where you want them to. A biscuit is a better choice than a dowel, as a dowel weakens the structural integrity of the sign foam, and the dowel may become visible after sandblasting. Now it's time to glue. While any brand will do, be certain you are using a catalyzed polyurethane glue. To accelerate the curing, especially in dry climates, you may wish to spritz a light spray of water on one of the sides to be glued. When applying the glue, it is not necessary to put glue into the holes for the biscuits. The biscuits are simply for alignment. Use a squeegee to smooth out the glue. This forces the glue down into the cell structure of the sign foam, ensuring a strong bond. After smoothing out the glue of a surface, insert the biscuits into the slots you created. Next, join the two pieces and align them by your registration marks. This will create a nice, even surface all the way across and keep the two pieces aligned. Because we used a catalyzed adhesive, the glue will expand in the joint, so it is not necessary to apply pressure with clamps. Because the glue will expand in and possibly out of the joint, place a sheet of sandblast stencil mylar under the surfaces you have glued. Otherwise, the sign foam will adhere itself to your work table and become very difficult to remove. While the material does not need to be clamped, it's a good idea to keep it in place, so lightly secure the material using deck screws. Allow it to dry at least two hours. Once cured, you'll virtually have a single piece of material with strong structural integrity. Remove the stabilization screws, remove the mylar, and sand off any portions where the glue has come up through the joined segments and proceed with the next step of making your sign.